How you guys doing, YouTubers? I uh, figured uh give you guys a quick update. The uh, Sweet Tart, Mountain Dew, Juicy Fruit, the Root Beer Plum with Kool-Aid Mix that I just mixed up yesterday. I've actually tried every flavor. They're all vapable right now. I can vape them all. But I do want to let them sit to give them a little more better flavor. Let them steep. But right now, I have my VV Nova on here, but I'm going to take it off and put my uh, one cardo. I do have the juicy fruit in on it. Ah. Actually, let's go with the sweet tart. Have the sweet tart in my atomizer. Figure the heck with it. This flavor here reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to, you know, when you go out trick or treating, you get sweet tarts for, you know, candy and everything. Perfect match for them sweet tarts. It's really good flavor. Um, it's just it's all all around good flavor. It's, you know, then my Mountain Dews in this atomizer throw it on here. As you can see I'm using my variable voltage that mod that I built. It's the mod, you know, only thing I have that will push these addies. Not a whole lot of vapor out of this right now because it's still being uh, reworked from being clean. But what this flavor reminds me of is flat Mountain Dew. Um, I don't know if you ever drank Mountain Dew that's flat. That's what the Mountain Dew flavor reminds me of. Uh, when you let you know have a bottle out, you're drinking it. Keep opening and closing it, you're drinking it. Just reminds me of a flat Mountain Dew. This cardo here has the juicy fruit in it. Again, another thing I remember as a kid. Always having that 25 cent pack of juicy fruit. That's what this reminds me of. Perfect flavor. Everything has a perfect flavor. The Mountain Dew, and then my root beer plum with the Kool Aid mix. I didn't think, when I first got that first sampler, which I finally used all up. When I first got this, I was like, man, I don't like plum. And then I had like a 5 milliliter left over like I did this time. And I made a little 5 milliliter bottle of uh, root beer alone. Well, I had 5 milliliters left from the first order I made. And I was like, well, I had uh, about 2 milliliters left in a 5 milliliter bottle of root beer and I took that five milliliters put it in there with that in a 10 milliliter bottle which I found out is leaking so I had to throw that bottle away but uh, I took two two milliliters of root beer concentrate well root beer f flavoring already mixed I put the five milliliters of my DIY stuff in and I put a milliliter of the plum and I don't know the actual measurement, but uh, be three quarters of a milliliter of uh, Kool Aid in it, and I liked it, and I liked it a lot. So I tried to uh, duplicate that on this mix, which I got pretty close. I got a little more plum in it than what I originally had, but I can I actually like it. So my concoction, I'm probably going to actually make more of it, but I know next time not to use as much plum. 
in a 30 milliliter bottle it's uh, 3 milliliters of the uh, extract and then it's uh, the root beer was uh, 0.6 milliliters so that's why I got the 3 milliliter syringe it was right there on the root beer and right there on the plum. Well next time I'm actually gonna go two and a half milliliters on the plum the same on the root beer. So I got this little thing here and I'm glad I did because it makes it easier to measure out the extracts. As, as of right now I'm very happy with everything I've actually mixed you know, I'm vaping my stuff I mixed the first time around. And it's actually, you can see that I'm actually vaping it now. I'm trying to save as much as my, of my favorite Irish mints because I got that little bit there. And a 5 milliliter bottle. So that's approximately about 7 milliliters maybe less maybe six and a half but that's what I'm running my VV Nova all the time overall I give Wizard Labs a thumbs up everything I've ordered from them I'm able to vape I don't vape this stuff a whole lot here but it's something I can vape um, yep, just knocked over one of my little glass jars but this one here is actually my one I've been vaping most is the uh, Irish cream with the Kool-Aid additive in it. And what I mean by Kool-Aid, it's not like a Kool-Aid drink. It's actually a cooling agent that gives you a little cool throat hit. And I don't have any more of it. I am going to have to order more for my next batch I'm going to make because I am going to reuse my plum root beer Kool-Aid mix that I'm going to redo. I am going to do more of that because that's one of my favorite DIYs that I've mixed myself. But you know if you're, want, if you're really wanting to get into DIY stuff I do recommend going to Wizard Labs. They're very good. Uh, very good prices. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a quick look. <coughs> I do uh, 24 milligram nicotine levels. Okay. When you order from them, you can actually order the milligrams of nicotine that you want. So basically, all you have to do is pull it out of the uh, bottle that it comes in squirt it directly in your you know 30 milliliter bottles and start mixing it you don't have to dilute it or nothing now some people will actually dilute it down to 18 milligrams me I'm gonna leave it at 24 but uh, right now if I want it to 120 milliliters seven dollars 49 cents I could get another one of them when I'm running out of these juices, mix them all up again, and have them. <coughs> you know, 250 milliliters, but you know, 120 milliliters for the price, on, well, for 50 cents less than what I'm paying for this without shipping. This is a good flavor and all. But, you know, I can mix up three more bottles for 50 cents less. So, you know, for the pricing and everything, I like Wizard Labs. Sorry, I had to take a drink. But, uh, I've been ordering all my flavors from them. So far... The only flavor I'm not really crazy about is the Irish cream. I've ordered uh, 
Irish cream, Kool-Aid. What else did I order on the f Nope, that's the only things I ordered on the first order. Now I got the uh, plum extract sampler. That was my first order. Then my second order, I got the root beer, juicy fruit, Mountain Dew, and sweet tart. Now, I am going to try the cotton candy, the, uh, you know, green apple. I might try the Hawaiian Tropical Fruit Punch. <coughs> um, try the honey. You know, there's a lot of concentrates that I can try. I mix 30 milliliters at a time. I should mix just like a little 5 milliliter bottle. Like next order, I'm going to actually order the same, you know, just the uh, DIY juice along with uh, one flavor. I might try the bubblegum flavor. Might remind me of the Hubba Bubba that I used to chew back when I was a kid. You know, that with just one flavor and do a five milliliter of that one flavor. That's probably what I'm most likely to do. That way, a new fl instead of making new flavors of a full 30 milliliter bottle, not truly liking it, but having to vape now, vaping it anyhow. That's what happened with these. I really don't like them, but I'm vaping them because uh, there really ain't much to vape right now. But I'm getting to where I am liking my uh, first batch I mixed. This is a 1.5 ohm dual coil. Which I do put it on my uh, box mod, my variable voltage box mod, the one I call a monster, which is this one here. That juicy fruit just brings back so many memories of, you know, being a kid and going down the store with a uh, a dollar and buying two packs of juicy fruit and some penny candies. You know, that was a big thing back then. Dollar would go a long way for when you were a kid. We had penny candies back then. You don't have that nowadays. I don't even think you can find a place that sells, uh, you know, the penny candy no more. But I uh, used to be able to buy pixie sticks. Uh, what else? It's all kinds of stuff that you can buy for a buck. Uh, the original Tootsie Rolls, the real small ones, you used to be able to get them for a penny a piece. Uh, from what I hear, you could still get them, but I think they're a nickel piece now, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. But I remember, you know having all that stuff when I was a kid <laughs> I don't know how my mom put up with me with all that sugar rush all the time but she did <coughs> so Wizard Labs I give a full thumbs up catch you guys later vape on see you in next video